We're going to give you a list that we do generally a few times a year, and it is what we're drinking on daily. Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we're going to talk about uh, what we're drinking right now. Yeah, so <laughs> what we're drinking right meow. Meow. Uh, so with, when it comes to daily drinkers, um, I feel like I'm in a weird spot for them. Yeah. Because ever since I got sick, I haven't really been drinking as much as like what I did. Like, you know, I I like I just have, I had like a week there where I just didn't want to drink anything after yeah. being sick. I was just like, I don't, I don't, I just don't have the the capacity for it right now. Yeah. So I just kind of went and picked out my five that I'm kind of drinking the most of that I can recall drinking the most of. But I also kind of go back and always think about this. Like, I feel like over the last couple of years, it's really changed, at least for me, where I used to have like this core group that I kept in a cabinet mm-hmm. upstairs. Yeah, that I, I would that. just, I, that yeah. I, it, exactly. You remember that, that I would just grab from or whatever. That cabinet is just totally empty. It has junk in there right now, I think. But like it, I just come down here and just grab kind of like random bottles at times now. Yeah. So. I do the, I kind of have a tendency to do the same thing. Like, um, I have some go-tos that like when in doubt, I'm like, I've drank too many out of this one for, for <laughs> this little bit. I'm like, ah, I don't, I, the bottle's getting shorter than I want. And, um, but I have in the last month really grabbed a hold of two or two or three yeah. that I've been drinking on a lot. Uh, which is which is super cool. Uh, before we get into the list, hit the like, subscribe, turn on the notifications. Uh, you know, do your part to help us to get to 20k. All right. Uh, you want me to start? I guess I'll start. Sure. All right. First one on the list: Old Forester Barrel Strength Bourbon. Now I have a couple of different ones of these open. Some are distilleries, some are local liquor stores. This one uh, was a total wine bottle, I believe. So. But these are super solid. Um, I think over the last, honestly, like year and a half, two years, these have gotten so much better than whenever they first released. Like the distillery ones were always pretty much pretty good. Yeah. But I think overall, um, they've just gotten so much better because when they first kind of came out, I agree, they were hotter than I think what a lot of people preferred, including myself at times. Um, But now they've kind of, I think they've gotten really good. Yeah. Uh, My first one is, this 117 it's warehouse k it's not my favorite one but i find myself enjoying it just um as kind of like a prepper for drinking other things it's True. weird to say that my 375 my 50 dollar 375 bottle is kind of my uh prepper for things that i actually uh want to drink but this is one of them. i just i think the flavor profile uh eases me into drinking other stuff mm-hmm. and i just Kind of enjoy uh, enjoy that. Yeah, it's so. a solid start. I mean, yep. what is it? Ninety proof yeah. or is it hundred proof? I, it's ninety eight. Ninety eight. Yeah. Okay, close enough. Uh, next one. Probably the bottle I bought most of towards the end of the year was a Bargetown Discovery Disco Eleven. I think this is like my third or fourth bottle I've bought. Yeah. And I'm halfway through this one now. Um, just again, guys. Like, I mean, this made top ten for a reason. It it's legitimately a great bottle. Yeah. I drink on it probably more than anything on this list, if I'm being honest with you. Um, and if this was more out in stores or whatever at bars, I'd probably sip on it more. It's just It's just not. Yeah. But at the end of the day, this is so incredible. Yes, I know it's a little pricey, but it's a really great quality. Whiskey. Yeah, really good quality. Uh, for me, this is probably one of my all-time favorite maker mark, Maker's Mark picks. Um, this one is... Uh, called Pops Caramello Barrel. Is that the one I gave you? Uh, it's either that I have two. I had two of them. Oh, okay. And this is I, so I either I drank give, all yours already. I did give that you, to you. Yeah, right? you, yeah. Okay, I was yeah. gonna say if not, I have it over. Yeah. There. No. Uh, just this is a Louisville Bourbon Club pick. Uh, this is one that I have drank a lot of. I just whenever I want something super sweet, easy to drink, this is kind of one of the ones that I go to. Uh, I just love the flavor of this one, and mm-hmm. uh, I just love it. Yeah, no, they did. And drink. so I go in periods where I don't drink any of it, and then I, I get in this, I get in these times where I, I drink it three or four or five days in a row, and I'm on that kick right now. Yeah. 
All right, next one, Smoke Wagon. Um, so I, I, I picked this bottle out. Uh, I also want to add, I had a bunch of Smoke Wagon samples of different single barrels, mm -hmm. Desert Jewel, a couple other rare and limited. So I've been kind of actually slipping on a lot of Smoke Wagon just in general. Uh, I trade samples with people. Yeah. Um, and then I keep going back to this one too. And just overall, just my love for Smoke Wagon. I mean, yeah. it's, it's out there. I mean, it's... Yeah. I mean, I love Aaron. I love what they do. Yep. It's awesome. This is like one of the best or perfect kind of like winter whiskeys you could have right now. I think, yep. Honestly. I, I think you're right. Uh, next on my list is, again, this is an older... Um, oh, is that what you, is, that's what you use for cocktails, right? Uh, no, I have a distill uh, release <laughs> that I use for that. Uh, this one's actually way better than the distill one. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a shop with a cop. 2021 bottle uh i really enjoy this bottle a lot and so i haven't drank on it in a while and the uh, about two weeks ago i saw it and i was like you know what i really want to do i want to drink on that so uh, i started taking pours out of that over the last couple weeks and so i uh, just really love this bottle and i'll probably stop drinking it soon just so that i don't run out of it fair enough all right next one oh stack and I don't want to get some some hate on this one, but it is that time of year where it's it cold is. outside and you just need something that's just going to warm you up. Yep. And this past year, outside of 23B, <laughs> there's a lot of great stacks mm -hmm. that hit the market. There, there really was. There was a ton of opportunity for them. I hope you all scored at least one of them. A couple that was store in, picks. That was that on 23. Like the store picks were really good. Yeah, I was going to say, store picks came out with a boom. Um, just overall... It was just a really good year for Stag. Yeah. And just being able to sip on this one. Like, I think this one's like the 22B. Um, mm, 22. Just overall, guys. A and B, both the 20. 22 A and B were both fantastic. I agree. Yep. Just overall, yep. great year. Great whiskey. Great bourbon. Uh, this is one that uh, just started on the, on our list, and uh, it's been in like three videos already. <laughs> I know. Uh, right? This is the third video. Uh, the truth is, is like... It is awesome. Uh, this... This is just taking the beginning steps of being in my daily bourbon drinking. Yeah. Um, and this is going to be in there for a while. Like, um, yeah, I'm probably awesome. going to kill this bottle really, really quickly because this is so good. So, uh, <coughs> there's so much to love about it. And uh, I'm glad I'm taking it home. Yeah. No, I agree. They did an awesome job. It's, uh, what, the best new release so far this year, I think? My next daily one will be up there with it too. So. Oh yeah, I forgot about it. Duh, yeah. I forgot about that one. Um, but it's well. Let me say this. I think you know that bottle. The next one you're going to talk about, and the Penelope Light Whiskey. I think yeah. those are top three. Yeah. So. And, yeah. All right, my last one. Gotta have a rye. It is that time of year, so I've been drinking on Parker's Rye a lot. It's awesome. It's excellent. It's the best rye I had all of last year, in my opinion. Yep. It hits so many notes for me that I enjoy, and I just think Heaven Hill just absolutely crushed it with this one, so. I did. Thank you all. Good, good stuff. And then my last one, I'll probably get hate on, uh, because this is like already, Jan you know, we're at the beginning of February now, but January has been a, a month of people either liking the bottle, hating the price, crapping on the liquid inside, mm -hmm. and not liking the price. Uh, I am, I, I haven't seen too many people hating what's inside. Well, I won't say I haven't seen too many reviews of people hating. Yeah, uh, love it. I don't like the price. Nobody likes the price, but yeah, I, I can guarantee you, uh, I'm gonna buy it again. And and that's why they raised the price yeah, to what it is. I'm gonna buy it again because I just enjoy, and I hope that whatever the next release is of this. Mm -hmm. still tastes as good as this one tastes. I'm, I, th that is the hope. But this is wonderful to me. I, I love everything about this bottle. And uh, it is in my daily drinking rotation at this point because I just can't get enough of it. I and I have a backup it. bottle, so. It's good. All right, so that's our list. So let us know what we got. Let us know what you all been sipping on. Let us know yeah. uh, your thoughts about anything that we've been sipping on. And uh, yeah, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, notifications button. Until the next time. We'll see you. We'll see you.